Hi friends, my name's Hannah and I'm a Kidivator at Kidivation. I'm here today to introduce you to problem statements and for this you're going to need your persona from the previous activity so if you haven't yet seen that video make sure you go and check it out. For this activity you're going to need some plain paper, some post-it notes and some markers or pens. Think about your persona. We're going to figure out what your persona needs or wants and why they aren't getting it. And to do this, we're going to create a recap of your persona's average day. Get out 10 post-it notes and place them in a row, either on a table or on a wall. Each post-it note will represent an activity in your persona's day. My persona is called Nick. They're 11 years old and they go to school in London. Here's what a typical day looks like for them. Nick is woken by their alarm. Nick has breakfast with their family. Nick gets the bus to school. Nick has their morning lessons. Nick has lunch with their friends. Nick has their afternoon lessons. Nick finishes school and gets the bus home. They have dinner with their family. They go to gymnastics training with their friend and they get ready for bed and go to sleep. Now that we know the typical things Nick does day to day, can we spot any moments they may not enjoy? For example, being woken up by a loud alarm is never fun. That's definitely a problem. So we write this down on a new post-it note and put it underneath the activity. Maybe Nick doesn't like the breakfast he had. Maybe it's the same boring cereal they always have. That's definitely a problem. Write this one down on another post-it note and add it below the activity. Maybe the bus that Nick takes to school is always crowded and stuffy. Definitely a problem. And maybe the bus is always late too. You can create multiple problem statements for one action. The trick is to really put yourself in your persona's shoes and try to understand how it feels to do the things that he does. This makes it so much easier to come up with many problems. Make sure you just put one problem per post-it note as this will make the next part of our exercise much easier. Now I challenge you to do this for your persona. Take 10 post-it notes and write down 10 activities throughout the day. Start adding potential problems that your persona might face throughout the day. This will require imagination, creativity and empathy. And once you're finished, you should have a table or a wall full of post-it notes. Now that we know all the potential problems our persona is facing, it's time to start deciding which problems are the most important. From your large group of post-it notes, we want to start picking out the problems that we think we should tackle. We aren't going to solve them yet, but we are going to pick out the three problems that are the most interesting and have the biggest impact on our persona's happiness. We recommend you not going for the easiest problems because it's always a lot more fun when you push yourself. Now that you have your final three problems, let's think about how they are worded to turn these problems into problem statements. We need to write them out like this. The name of your persona needs or wants to do a certain activity, but unfortunately, they have a problem. So from my example above, I could write, Nick needs to get up for school in the morning but they really don't like the sound of their alarm. Do you see how that works? You now have a problem statement that really helps you to understand your persona. During the next activity, we're going to start thinking about how we can help our persona using the problem statements that we've created today. We really hope that you've enjoyed this activity. And if you want to learn more about design thinking, please subscribe to our channel or check out our website at kidivation.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Keep on innovating.